Look what's behind us. Finally. Finally. We are on our way to have a little shakedown trip, if you will, for the camper. Um, I'm sorry if it's vibrating. You are up on the windshield. Um, we are heading to Lakeview RV Resort. And before I get too far into this, I'm Favor. This is my husband, Robert. Welcome to the channel and welcome back to a, whoop, a vlog. <laughs> it is 3.52 p.m. the 22nd of April, 84 degrees outside. And we are headed for a weekend camping trip. But it's not really camping. It's glamping. Glamping, yeah. So it's just across town, across town from us. And uh, it's been a while since we've camped. Yeah. So, you need to explain to people why it's been so long since we've camped. Yes. So, um, okay. So I'm going to take my hand off the camera. But what's going to happen is it may wiggle jiggle. There is stabilizers in this camera. It's my iPhone Pro Max 13 Pro Max. Um, but I don't know if it's going to stabilize enough. I don't remember the truck being this bumpy when pulling the camper, but I guess it was. I just got used to it, I guess. Yeah. So. It is this bumpy all the time. Wow. I mean, that's that's really bumpy. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to have to hold it. Okay. But my arm is tired. <laughs> okay. So, back in October, while we were on uh, Horizon, Carnival Horizon, uh, if you haven't seen those vlogs, that was the best cruise we've ever had. It's a back-to-back. -back. I will link them right up here for you. Up, up over Robert's head. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so... So, uh, while we were on that cruise, 4.30ish um, in the morning, my camera started going nuts on the house, and I jump on, I'm looking. There's a police officer at our front door. Uh, I'm FaceTiming my son, calling him, telling him to answer the door, answer the door. Um, that was fun. That was horrifying. And, um, I mean, thankfully it was the truck being stolen and not something worse. Yes. But, um, the truck was stolen and used in a crime. And we just got the truck back. That was October 2021, middle of October 2021. And it is now April 22nd, 2022. And we got the truck back from being repaired about two, April 10th. Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah about two weeks ago. Yeah. And the first thing we did when we got it fit, when we got it back, was um, drive it for a little while to make sure everything was fine. You know, he tows for work. So now we are headed out and uh, just going to go out for the weekend, close to home, in case there's any, in case there's any problems um, with the camper. So you know, we're just going to test all the systems, test everything, make sure everything's working, make sure she doesn't need to go in for any kind of maintenance. A couple of weeks ago, the first time we got the truck back, or the second time we got the truck back, there was a huge issue. So we got the truck back. We had, were moving the camper because we have new storage for the camper, which is covered storage, which we're very excited about. The sun here in Texas just is terrible for the skins and stuff on the camper. We want to try and take as much care of it as we can, especially for the sun, from the sun. Anyway, so we were moving it and the truck, once we got to the new spot, thankfully, we were backing it in and the truck just went nuts. We couldn't turn it off. It just was shortened things out. It was a big issue. Anyway, a few weeks later and we got it back. So, and now it is completely repaired. We did take it to a different kiss for Rocco. We did take it to a different um, repair facility to finally get it repaired. So it's a long story. I won't waste your time with it. Anyway. So, we'll see you along the way, and then we will see you when we get there. I'm very excited. Get her all backed in and uh, hooked up. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get you the B-roll of us backing in, because it's been a while. So, we may be a bit rusty and setting up and all of that. So, there you go. So, we will see you when we get there.
there was so much traffic and there were road closures and detours. Oh my goodness. But we have made it here. This is a cute little place. So I'm excited and Rob went in to get us all checked in. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you in a second. There's a cute little micro mini over here. And we saw a mini Winnie, a Winnie Mini on the way here. I need to find the floor plans to that because it was really cute. in the camper it's 6 21 i've been running around you know i haven't been in the camper in like seven eight months i had to dust and tidy things up so <laughs> robert's in here enjoying the ac look look at him is it much cooler in here it's 20 degrees cooler in here yeah i mean it's 83 degrees in the front of the camper and it's probably technically six. the back of the camper okay the back yeah so um but that's it, it takes it a while to cool down, but when we put on that AC in the bedroom and leave the door open, that air pumps in here. Well, so I do have the windows open because we have a beautiful view, which I will show you in just a minute. Um, I uh, Here, let me show you around because it's been a while. Okay, trying to remember all the things is kind of cumbersome. Okay, so here we are. I have everything put in here and here's our groceries that and that we're pretty well stocked for just two days and this is from the last um last cruise <laughs> last camping trip i did pick up a new keurig it's really big for right here so i i have to pull it completely out in order to put a pod in it but that's okay i mean it'll work and uh, so here we go, we're ready to go. I'm about to open that up and put it over there. Um, I brought that, bought that because again, it gets so hot in the camper. We're, on, we're still at 82 degrees in here and we've had the AC on for quite some time, but you know, it is what it is. So it'll cool down and then it'll be fine, but it has to cool down first. So, and I still have to put away our clothes and all of our linens and toilet paper and stuff like that. So I still have that left to do, but first we are quite hungry. So I'm gonna fix some dinner, just Philly cheesesteak. You've seen me make it a hundred times, but uh, that's what we are having. Mmm, step one, so delicious. I love the smell of onions and peppers cooking. Although I will pick out the onions and only use the peppers in mine, but um, I like onions, but I don't like them cooked. So, <laughs> anyway, mm. very, oh, I just splashed very excited for dinner tonight. Not to mention the fact that we're both quite hungry. And then there's the Philly cheesesteak. Um, it's a little damp in there. I overcrowded the pan, um, but uh, yeah, it's delicious. That is sliced ribeye because that's all Costco had. I've not been able to find our normal Philly cheesesteak beef in a while. So um, I'm excited to try this. I mean, I, I took a bite and it was good, but I'm excited to try it in a, uh, in one of my wraps. Yummy. And there's mine and there is Robert's. But the, I have Swiss cheese, he has provolone and the peppers are under there and then there's the Philly cheese steak. And then of course, I'm gonna have these tonight with dinner and there is our view at dinner tonight. We're gonna go for a walk in just a second after we eat. But we have the back of the camper closed up right now because the sun is back there and it's really, really hot. So, be back in a minute. All right, we are gonna go for a walk. Ready to go, Mr. Fenley? All right, I just put all the laundry, sort. well, I put it on our side, each side of the bed. I haven't hung it up yet, but I put away the linens, did all the dishes. We've had a delicious dinner. Now it is time to go out for a walk. So you can see this place because it's so pretty. So we can see it. Look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful, honey. The sunset with the lake. Nice. I didn't bring my running shoes. I could have gone for a run. It's actually kind of breezy out here. I'm actually gonna go run in and grab my jacket and then we'll go look around. All right, so there's the girl. There's the camper in the truck. So here's this beautiful 
Park. We're going to take a walk around and we'll show you if there's... Oh, look, an airplane. Is there an airport right here? Because that's awfully low. Oh, Hobby's right over here. Okay. Near, over there, yeah. But it's just, it was a low plane, so... That's just beautiful, the sunset. That's gorgeous. I didn't take a picture. Here's another view. Getting a little misted from the fountain. Our camper's right over there. It's really nice. And then here's the pool and the hot tub. What time is it? It's 7.30. So let's go take a look. Thank you. So, huh? <laughs> nice pool. It's just beautiful. Nice little beach entry. So, oh wow. Huh? Very cool. Yeah. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, we'll go see that. Nice little beach entry. Oh, Millie would have loved that. Lovely. What a great shot right here. This is a really nice little RV park. Resort, excuse me. They have an outdoor kitchen for you to use. Nice, so you've got a couple of burners, a little mini fridge, nice grill. Nice. Hello. It's beautiful. Oh, swings. Rocking chairs looking over the lake. I'm sorry, we have to take a seat. And they got pool tables. Oh, hi. Hello. Ah, this is very nice. I want one of these in the backyard, honey, on the porch. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And then there's a little workout rec room type thing. Oh man, I should have brought my running shoes. Look at that. Pool tables. Pool tables and, oh, can we go in? Oh, we can go in. Oh, it looks like they're, so you have a nice little sitting area. It's lovely, ATM and a gym. They must have had a event or something. And it goes back that direction off the lake and there's another lake on the other side and a dog park which we'll show you and then mailboxes if you need them so we've walked just a little bit farther here i'll show you so there's where we were the clubhouse over there now here's another little outdoor kitchen area you have a sink and a couple of grills and a little refrigerator refrigerator a couple of them and a fire pit right here this is really nice that's nice Wow, they must live here. I like seeing the little doggy <laughs> enclosures. <laughs> I think they're so cute. But you can see this place is quite large. It goes back two or three different rows back and then there's cottages here. So it's really nice. Wow, another outdoor kitchen. My goodness, they are everywhere, aren't they? laundry. There we go. Here's the beautiful view tonight. This is very nice. Very, very nice. It's nice to sit here and relax just for a few minutes, even though the vlog is not ready for tomorrow. <laughs> I just ran out of time. Good morning. It's 737, Saturday the 23rd of April. It is 72 degrees outside. Good morning. I'm about to go take a shower, but I wanted to show you the beautiful view we have this morning before I go and get dressed for the day. Um, Robert just left. He went to go get us an HDMI cable because I forgot it. Yes. So uh, I forgot quite a few things. I forgot our Wi-Fi, MiFi, MiFi, whatever it is from Amazon or a little hotspot thing. I forgot that. Jetpack, that's what it's called. Um, I forgot that and the what the HDMI cable so we couldn't um, watch from the iPad. 
Anyway, let me show you. And there it is. So today we're gonna clean this back window because uh, it's filthy. And uh, yeah, gorgeous this morning. I wish there were ducks out here, but there's no ducks. Maybe that, I don't know, maybe they, I don't know why they wouldn't want ducks in their lake. I have no idea, but if this was my lake, I would have ducks in my lake. So pretty. Maybe there are a lot to keep up with or take care of or clean up after. I don't know. So, so pretty this morning. So I'm going to take a shower, get dressed, and uh, we're going to um, fix some breakfast. We intend to stay in the camper today. So for breakfast is a bagel, yummy. For lunch is wraps, sandwich wraps. And for dinner is, um, I made, I did in the last vlog, I'm editing it now, trying to get it uploaded for you today. Um, I made uh, chicken strips. I didn't show you this, but I told you I was gonna meal prep. I did, I made chicken strips and mozzarella cheese sticks. So I brought some of those for dinner tonight. Um, I brought toasted ravioli and chicken strips for Robert. And I brought um, mozzarella cheese sticks and chicken strips for me. <laughs> We're going the healthy route. Um, and I do have a salad that I wanted to chop up and make uh, for me as well. So yeah, so we're only here today. This is our only full day here and uh, we leave tomorrow, but you know, I thought it might be a nice little, just a little quick camping vlog. It's never quick, it's me. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, here are the bagels. I wanted to show you. Y'all, they are so delicious. They're really good. Um, again, these are carbonat, gluten-free, and keto. So they're grain-free uh, bagels. Absolutely delicious. Again, I will leave them linked for you. Uh, you can get them straight from the company or from Amazon. And uh, yeah, uh, the first time you use the company, go to the company, you can get a 15% discount. So I suggest you do that. You just have to sign up with their email some ducks out there. Glad we have some ducks. I was saying earlier that we didn't have any, but it's nice to see a couple. If those are ducks, maybe there's some sort of bird. I don't know. I was just going through our cabinets in here, just making sure we didn't have any, you know, stuff in there you never, you don't need and you never, never use. So there's all that. And then I redid this over here. I think this is how I'll have it until we're cooking. I'll just move that over. This worked pretty well this morning. I had no problems with it. It does get pretty hot, but like around it, you can feel the heat, but nothing like that thing. That heats up and heats up the whole cabin. Camper, that does not. So there we go. All right, and I'm doing some work. Robert's doing some work, working on new cruises. <laughs> Possibly. Here we go. Well, we almost made it the whole weekend without eating out. <laughs> I did make the chicken, or excuse me, the cheese sticks for lunch today in the toaster oven. It was great. They did, it did great. Um, it gets really hot. The toaster oven gets really hot. So, you know, it still doesn't heat the camper up as much as the oven does, but it does get hot. Uh, we did have to turn the oven on because the um, cheese sticks, toasted ravioli that I bought Robert, brought for Robert, it wouldn't fit in the little toaster oven. So we had to turn the oven on and it did just exactly what we knew it did and that would, was heat up the whole camper. So, you know, I tried, <laughs> I tried, so there you go. Um, he did go and get some pizza. He's getting me a salad. Um, I'm going to put some salami and ham and turkey in my salad because I brought that with me, sandwich stuff with me. Uh, we were going to have sandwiches today, but we're just, neither one of us were really wanted sandwiches. So we had what we were going to have for dinner for lunch and now it's dinner time. So we're going to have what we have. We're going to have another day pizza so he's having pizza i'm having a salad again so sorry we have to keep this closed back here but i wanted to show it to you because it's so beautiful but uh the direction that the back of the camper is facing it's very hot and very very bright right now but it's so pretty i wish i could keep the window open but it makes it too hot in the camper but let me show you is that not 
stunning. Look at that, the beautiful bright sunshine. I hope the screen is in focus. I don't know because I can't really see. Beautiful, beautiful bright sunshine. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of a sunset tonight. Stunning. I'm telling you, this is a great little in-town camping spot. We're close to Meyerland. I think that's what Robert said. Kind of on the outskirts of Meyerland, but isn't that beautiful? Just a nice little spot. And there is another lake behind us um, with the dog park on it, but it's smaller. It's considerably smaller. But we've really enjoyed this little spot here. So if you're in town in Houston and you need, you know, I don't, I don't know what's near here. <laughs> Honestly, don't know what's near here. <laughs> This is a nice place to stay. I recommend it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's been nice for us this weekend, so we've had no complaints. We really haven't utilized any of the facilities on the property that I've already shown you, but um, you know, you might. So I think, you know, if we didn't have our own pool in our backyard, we'd probably utilize the pools around the RV parks much more than we do. But you know, we have our own, so we don't really, get in the pools and I like how I've set that up over there now I mean excuse the mess or chart that's ooh, the trash <laughs> um the fireplace is off just the light is on um where is it the charger right there but I really like the way I've set this up um it's working it's it's working well it's a way that I can keep the stuff on the counter without um you know having to move the coffee pot every five minutes when I want a fresh cup of coffee <laughs> And then here's our view from this way. I'll show you. So if you look, well, you can see the fountain right there. there that's the other lake in the dog park right there. And um, there's the distance between the campers. There's nobody in that one. I mean, it's set up, but it's probably like somebody sets it up and leaves it for a few weeks at a time. Our friend does that. And it's the same with the camper on the other side of us. Um, there's nobody in it. It's locked up. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think this might be a nice little place for that. I don't, you know, oh, and I don't know if I told you, but on the other side of the lake right there, and there's more spots on the other side of that, there's a fence that you might be able to just see, um, beyond the water fountain behind there is a junkyard. <laughs> so in the morning, this morning, I don't know if it's every morning, but this is, this was the first morning I've been here. There's a lot of noise. There's a whole lot of noise and they're moving metal and it's very, very loud. And that started, I mean, I was up at five. So now I couldn't hear it over our air conditioner, but you know, and then there's the lake behind us. So it's a very nice property. So it's really nice here. I will show you Robert's Pizza. I don't know the name of the place. I don't know the name of it, but I will show you Robert's Pizza and my salad. So I'm gonna go chop up my meat to get ready for him to get home. And uh, then uh, I'll see you in a second. Of course, I bought two Coke Zeros, H-E-B Coke Zeros yesterday when I was at H-E-B. And yes, I vlogged all of that. But then when I got home and I talked about the whole time that I was gonna show you the haul, we went to Costco and H-E-B, I did. My whole, all my kids were home and we were in a hurry to leave and get here as it was, we were late. Oh, yesterday was such a hectic day for both Rob and I. So I didn't film the haul. So I'm not, I just threw out all that vlog footage. There's no point in any of it when I didn't show you the haul, so. That is an enormous salad. And that is a delicious smelling and looking pizza. Wow, where's this from, honey? La, La Fresca pizza. Oh, there it is. Yeah, La Fresca pizza. There's three locations. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go. It looks like there's bacon. Uh, I don't know, it looks like a whole bunch of delicious stuff on this pizza. Mm. Oh, there's pepperoni. Oh, there's already ham on it. Yeah, I showed you what was on it. It didn't say ham. It didn't say pepperoni either. Well, I don't know what I was reading then. I was reading it wrong. Mm. Oh, this it smells so good. Yum. Oh, it's time to go to bed. Pretty. I really love these. I will leave them linked for you. Uh, I may need some on my back patio at home. Good morning. 
I was hoping to catch a sunrise for you this morning, but you guys, it didn't happen. <laughs> but look, the lake is off today. The uh, lake, the fountains are off today. Oh, already over there fishing. So, there you go. Oh, something in the water. I think this is a uh, throwback lake. Turtles are peeking up this morning. But yeah, I think this is a throwback lake and uh, I don't think you can, or catch and release, that's the word I was looking for. All right, just wanted to come out here and show you, let you see it when it was nice and quiet, because those fountains are loud. <laughs> I mean, you would expect it because of the, it's flowing water, and it's a lot of it, but. There you go. It's really pretty. I really like it here. So we have a gas station right there, and then the freeway's running right here but it's still pretty quiet with a freeway right there. Good morning. It's uh, 925, the 24th, Sunday the 24th. I took you outside a little bit this morning, but I haven't officially said good morning to you. We are packing up the camper. It is time to head out. Um, we actually have a little bit of time before we have to go, but um, we're trying to get home. Robert wants to wash the camper, the outside, and um, do some maintenance and stuff like that. So he'd like to do that. Uh, today when we get home. So we're going to head home a little early before uh, the neighborhood streets get busy today and uh, that way the camper fits. So so we're good to go. You guys, I love this little bag. I just picked this up. I'm going to leave it linked for you if it's still available, but I really, really like it. It's very cute. And these are removable. So if you don't want them on there, you can just slip them right off. See? Anyway, here we go. We're all packed up my mug from my sweet sweet friend and uh, the other one is in the cabinet whoops let me lock this up when we get home i will empty the refrigerator and wipe it out and uh yeah we're good to go um one last look at this little view now we're going to start the outside stuff on the camper which is disconnecting the water uh flushing the black tank things like that so all right we'll see you in a minute Actually, we've been home. It's a few days later, but I forgot to close out the vlog. So I wanted to take a second to thank you very much for joining us on this little three-day trip. We have another one coming up in a week next weekend, and then another five-day camping trip in sort of the Austin, New Braunfels area. We'll be camping right on a lake on a river. We're very excited about it, right on the Guadalupe River. So it's going to be wonderful. So I hope that you'll join us for that. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience while we waited to go camping again with the truck being gone for so long. Um, we're just really, really happy to have it back. We did have an issue on the way home. The check engine light came on. <sighs> it is the thermostat, we believe, in the water pump. We're not 100%, but it's going to be repaired today so that we can go this weekend and go camping. So there you go. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you in the next one.